Good morning everyone. I'm Deborah Koslovic and I'm a Creative Memories Independent Advisor from Australia. Welcome to Creating Your Memories. Today I want to share with you some border ideas which you can find on the Creative Memories blog. They feature using our recent paper pack What A Zoo 2 and also the Zebra Stripe Border Maker Cartridge. These borders are designed by Chrislyn and I'll show you today how to make these. So as I said, these are borders are actually on the CM blog and to make them today, you would need your What A Zoo 2 designer paper pack, the zebra stripe border cartridge, the decal blade, your 12 inch trimmer, your 13 by 13 inch mat, the What A Zoo 2 stickers and border stickers, that coordinate with all with this one collection and also the What A Zoo 2 embellishments. So I started off with by um, making the borders. I didn't complete the borders and added all the embellishments and everything on them. So this is the wild border and that's that one there and that's an embellishment. And then you have the zoo animal border and that features with one of our border strip stickers and the giraffe the lion and the panda and then the last one is called the zoo adventure border the zoo adventure border is this one here so in and that's it there. So to start off with today, we'll start with the first one, which is the wild border. So to, to make this border, we would need, and we're going to punch it with the zebra stripe border. So to use the border cartridge, it has a housing, which the border cartridge slots into. And then we have the tray. So we're just going to open that up. And then I'm going to put my paper in. It's got a magnetic strip. So once it's lined up and in my tray, I'm just going to put that down, flip the tray over. And then starting at the first one. And each, each punch has a little notch. So then you just keep moving it down until you find the next notch. So I'm just going to punch right along. So we're going to take that out. Got all this little confetti. You can actually reuse that if you like. So now we're going to bring out the 12 inch trimmer. And we're going to cut this with the straight blade at three inches. So now I'm going to take out my straight blade and put in my decal blade. And I'm going to trim off that fringe. So just lining it up on my cut line just over a little bit so it cuts it off. So then that trims that off just like that and that gives you that nice fringe edging. So our next step is we're going to get the same paper, the yellowy goldy diamond and on the back you have the zebra stripes. So now we're going to make sure you change your blade over. So now we're going to cut the zebra stripe paper one and three quarters. So that's one and three quarters by 12. So 
So now then that will sit, get all my little pieces out of the way. So then that will sit on there like so. So I'm using the black shimmer on my layout today. And we're going to cut the black. Uh, just looking at these instructions. So we're up to step three. So, so we're going to cut that at one and three eighths. So we want to cut that at one and three eighths. Yeah, so, so that's before the half. So just lining that up. So our next piece is the brown. Use the brown. So I'm using the darker brown and on the back is the white and black dots. So we want to get out our border maker system again. So I'm going to put that in the tray. I'm just going to flip that over. Going back to the border. And as you can see by this one, we're not punching at either end. We just want to punch in the middle. So to do that, move this out of the way so to do that you're going to skip your first one and then you're going to go down to your second one and punch and then punch the next one and the third and four so it should look something like this so you're skipping the first punch and the last punch. So then we're going to bring out our 12 inch trimmer again. And we're going to cut that at one and one eighth. And that is the second line before the one and a quarter. So then we're going to trim that off. Going to put the trimmer aside so then we go back to our instructions just bringing all this back in again so I'm just going to line up my border on my mat Going to use a little bit repositional and put down the zebra stripes on our main border base. So centering that on. So we've got either width from either end. So now we get our black and our brown. So we want to now shorten this. So when I did this one, I cut off one inch. So I made it 11. So cutting off that one inch. And then with the brown, you're going to have to cut the same amount off either side. So I want to cut off half an inch on either side. And I'll just check the measurements of that to see how that looks on our black. So you want it actually shorter than your black. So that's the same length. So now I'm just going to cut, so all up, probably three quarters of either end. That will make it easier. My little boo-boo there. So I'm just going to put the trimmer aside. 
So the next thing that we want to do is that I'm just going to line this up and we want to flag it. So to make it even at each end, just got them together. Just going to turn them over, get my scissors and then cut it. So I'm going to do the same to the other end. So lining it up so it's even width on each side. Just turning it over, lining these two up and cutting. So now when I put this on, you can see that I've got the same, the flags are measuring the same and you've also got that overlap on your black cardstock or your shimmer, whatever you could be using. So now I'm just gonna adhere that down on the black. Just making sure it's even on both ends. Just get rid of that confetti. Just going to lift that. It's a great thing about repositional. You can lift it without ripping your paper or your cardstock. So now I'm just going to put another little bit of repositional on the back. And then we're just going to centre that in the middle. Just making sure that it's got the same width on either side. And that is our first border, which is the wild border. So now the only thing that you need to do on this now is decorating with your embellishments or your stickers. So you can actually go through your embellishments, just seeing if, you know, like what I've got left. So you've got the Zoo Venture, you've got Animal Kingdom, you've got the Zoo Gate, Wildlife, Animal Magnet, The Best Day Ever, Animal House. So I might use... I might use this one here, best day ever. Just going to stop that out. So because it's already got, um, these are laid embellishments, so they've already been raised by your foam squares to give it dimension. So the only thing you do really need to do is just put a bit of tape runner on the back. centering that in the middle but I'll just have a look at my stickers add a sticker with that I'm going to use the crocodile because when I visit the zoo we did see crocodiles so I might just put him like that and then the best day ever just on the side here that is our first border so now we're going to do our second border and the border this one is the zoo animal border and you have your zebra stripes down the side you have your border sticker and you've got these gorgeous animals on that so now to make this border we're going to bring it back in our border maker system our black cardstock again I'm going to be using my black shimmer and we're going to bring back in our border housing with the zebra stripe in and we're going to just punch all the way down. 
gives us that nice zebra edging. We're just moving all that confetti out of the way. So now we want to bring in our 12 inch trimmer. And we're going to trim that at two and three quarters. So trimming it at two and three quarters. So that's our base of our border. Our next step after that, looking at these instructions, we're going to cut um, some different color papers now. So it varies if you want to use the same coloring as that they have on this border or you might want to use, you know, your own color system. So the colors that we will be using today are the, the diamonds, the yellows with the diamonds. We're going to use the brown spot, it's like the giraffe spots. And then we're also going to use the green leafy palmy leaf sort of thing and then you've got the pink on the reverse so we're going to have four different colors so with each of these colors you want to cut one inch one inch by 12 inches strips so I've got some here cut previously from my one before. So once you've cut your one inch strips, then you want to get your one inch strips and then you want to cut them into one by one inch squares. So I'm just going to stack mine all together and I'm going to trim them all at the same time to make it a little bit easier. So I'm just gonna line it up on the one inch and I'm just gonna trim, get a few of those. So just stacking them up, cutting your one inch by one inch squares. Even though that you might have some leftovers from if you're doing one border, you could always make the exact same border and add on the other side. And then you could just do a double page layout. So that way it's using up all your little bits that you've cut. So now I'm just going to find the back end from where I punched. I'm just going to get some repositional tape. And I'm just going to go down, put a few blobs on, so now if you want to follow the same colouring system as the, as the strips are from the blob, so the first one that we're going to start off with would be the green and what you want to do is getting your piece and lining it up to cover those squares there. So then when you turn it over, you've just, I think it's like one, two, three, it's about four. So it covers it up. So then you wanna go down to your next color and do exactly the same and this one is the yellow with the diamonds. And then we'll go the brown. And then the pink, which is the back of your green. So now having a look at that again, as you can see, it makes that nice effect with your zebra stripes. 
So we're going to go back with the, the green one. So it's just going down and just following your colour suits as you started. And then the yellow diamond. And then we go the brown. Then so we up to the brown. And then the green. that green out so any excess reposition or tape you've got on the back there you can just rub it away the way it doesn't stick to your board so now that if you flip that over you've got that nice edging with those gorgeous colors so the next step after that we want to bring in It's a leafy kind of paper and it has the white on it. So now I'm just going to, I cut this end off, which is that end there, but I'm going to continue just to use that same side. So, and then we want to cut that at one and a half. So trimming that at one and a half. So it's one and a half by twelve, three quarters. So I've got a little bit of the black showing the top and bottom. So using my repositional, so then Lining it up on my board. That's a little bit more. So then it's just adjusting and having your same distance on either end. So there we have that. So next step after that is to get out our border stickers. And the border sticker that they used was the zigzag one there. So we'll just peel that off. And then it's just lining it up. So when I line mine up, I'm just lining it up that I'm getting the white on either end. So where my paper ended, it's covering up those white. So there we have that. So the next step after that, going back to this border here, is just sticking down your animal stickers. So exactly the same as what they had on the blog. We had the giraffe, the lion, the panda bear and the leaves. But you could do something a little bit different or you can do exactly the same. So that's our number two border. So now we'll go on to number three. So moving on to number three, the third border that's on the blog is the Zoo Adventure one. And that's this one here. So to make that, we need to get out this green jungle leaf paper and we want to trim that at two and three quarters. So two and three quarters. So our next step. 
is the brown dark snake skin and we want to cut that one at two inches so two inches by 12 cut that one and that's it's I think that's 11 11 a quarter sorry so we want to cut off three quarters of that so it's two inches by 11 and a quarter so that gives you that nice gap from the top and the bottom so going back to the instructions here so now using the you can use the same brown as well as so we're going to use a number of different papers now with our border maker system again so we're going to use the brown the yellow diamond the mustard yellow diamond paper and we're also going to use the the pink this one here so to start off with we'll bring in our border maker system so I've already got a couple that are cut that I've previously used with that other border so to show you how to do one but you do repeatedly with this with those three colors so this with the brown your pink and your mustard diamond designer paper you punch them all out with the border make system with the zebra stripe so we're going to punch that so moving right down So then you will go on and then you'll punch your busted diamond stripe and then your pink. But I've already got them some left over from my previous order. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to get your 12 inch trimmer. We're going to take out our straight blade, putting in our decal blade. So you're going to do this on all three colors. So but just like we did when we did our first border, we're going to cut off the bottom of this border so we've got a fringe as so so we're going to do that right along the next thing that we want to do is take out our deco blade back in with our straight blade and then we want to cut that at one and three quarters So you do this with all three colors so when you've done that the next step that you need to do with the whole three colors just getting out these colors here that I have so all three colors I actually use the different brown on my first strip I use the the bigger dots on this one I'm doing going to use the dark brown so with all three colors then you want to cut them at two inches you probably need about three three or four cuts on each on each color probably I think it's about three So then that will also give you enough to make two borders to make like a double page spread. So we're going to get this border, lining it up on our mat, getting our adhesive and adhering down our brown strip. So just making sure that you've got the same width on either side. So we're bringing in our three colors that we have cut and they've got the fringe so just putting them in their colored sections so 
So you've got the mustard, the pink, and the brown. So our first color is going to be the pink. So I'm just gonna put some adhesive on the back. And then I'm just gonna line it up. Just leaving a gap down the bottom. So that's our first one. So then going on to our next color is the mustard. Exactly the same, putting some adhesive on the back. And then we want to sit that on the top just before the fringe ends. I should say start, not ends. So then that's our next color. Then we'll move on to our, the brown. So it's just going up the chain and doing exactly the same, same method. So then we have the brown on the top. Then we're gonna go back with our pink. So just going up, doing exactly the same as what we did from the start. So then we'll do the mustard. So putting the mustard on. And then the brown. So we've got the two layers of the same colour. So our next step after that is that we want to bring back in our pink paper, which is this one here. And we want to cut a strip that is two inches by five. So once you've cut that strip at two inches by five and you're punch so I'm just lining that up down the bottom and I'm just going to place that in and punch so then with the trimmer changing the blade putting back in your decal blade and we're going to trim off that edge again So now we want to just adhere that with our next step. So we're going to adhere that on there. So that makes it a wider pink area. And that's where the, um, you know, like a title and your embellishments or stickers. So that goes on there like that. So then now that we've done that pink strip, we're going to go back to our diamond mustard. And we're going to hear that down. And then our last one is our brown. That will go on the top straightening this one up so I just might need to move that one just down a little bit more And 
and then place the brown and there we have our second border so you can see the different browns it does make it a little bit different so you can vary in your colors that you would like to use on this border so the next thing that we need to do on this border embellishments I should say um i think i might use i might use the zoo adventure So that will sit there in the middle like that and then looking at our stickers so our border stickers it's a matter of using the right sticker that you would like to use I think I'm, I might use the koala So, so I'm just going to sit my little koala about there, get in my tape runner and just putting it below, probably just about there. So as you can see, it makes a nice looking border so that's our third border that we made and then you have our second border and then you've got the third so why not give it a go today going on to the creative memories blog and having a look and see what they have on there and maybe try a couple of these borders with the new collection that's out what a zoo 2 with the stickers embellishments and the zebra stripe border cartridge and see what you come up with today please like and subscribe to my channel if you've got any comments or would like to know anything i'm happy to answer any questions if you would like to buy creative memories or want to know a little bit more about creative memories and if you're in australia you can contact me and i'll be happy to help you have a great day everybody happy scrapping